So Native Instruments just released electric keys, two electric piano, two road pianos, Diamond and Phoenix. We are diving into this, but here on the product page, of course, there's a lot of information and I'm gonna put the link in the description of the video, but let's dive into this. All right, so we have Phoenix, we have Diamond. These are, of course, contact libraries and they can run on the free contact player, of course, on the full contact and in complete control. So if we'll go into our uh, preset browser, you'll see categories, then we have the presets. And on the main page, we have some macros on the bottom. We have the instrument controls, a lot of things that you can do to shape the sound and we'll go into this in a moment. And finally, we have the effect chain and there's a lot of things you can do here. So you can get from very classic sounds to sound design stuff. And so let's see how this sounds. It's a good time to say if you have keyboard like the Control MK3, which I have, then you can you can do pretty much everything from this keyboard, and it is compatible NKS2. And right here I have the edit button. I can click that. I have the macros. I have instrument. I have the preamps. I have effects. I have post effects. I mean, everything is right here. And of course, I also can jump into the browser and just go select anything here. Let's see what we've got. I'll take this one, Flying Diamonds. So now what I can do is I can actually go into the effects right here and I can uh, change things. I, I'll see the chorus right here on off, things like that. I have the, the amount, the feedback, and I can go into the edit mode right here if I want to and change things. And in the instrument, I can again go and do some stuff and I have more pages and I can flick through them and this is really great. So I can add the bell. If I want to go into the preamps, again, I'm going into the preamp and here I can turn on and off. I got it in drive. We can get amount of drive. All 
like pretty cool, right? And so let's see what else we have with these electric keys. And what I love is the fact that in the instrument, you can see a couple of things that are interesting. On the left side, we have sources. So there's direct and there's, uh, of course, uh, mic'd. And I'm going to click these sources right here. And there are some things that I can do. And I can add both of them. I can have one of them. And there's some, some other noises, even the hammer noise or the pedal noise. Things like that. And that's pretty much the same with Phoenix. So let's jump over to Phoenix, see the same concept. And again, we have the sources. I can turn on or off any of them. Go here and just mix those into the sound. Right. And then we also have shape with color, tonal shift. We have the dynamic range and I got the attack and the release, which can be sample based or uh, programmatic. And this is really great. So they actually sampled the release of, uh, of the sound. And we have other things like tone and noises that you can add in. So pretty cool stuff. Now, it gets very interesting when we go into the effect. So here, you'll see that we have effect chain that ends with a delay and reverb. So right now, this is how it sounds. Right, we have the preamp right here. So I can click that and I can add the drive. I can even go into some presets. Pretty nice stuff. And Clicking that plus here will get me into the effects browser. And there are some categories right here on the left side, or you can just scroll down, up and down, wherever. And we can add tape, for example. And when you click this, you'll get all the controls. And we can add saturate and speed and whoa and flutter age things like that if you want to change anything no problem just click this magnifying glass and replace this with something else so when you go here you'll see we have fuzz distortion all kinds of stuff because we are under drive but i can click this again and just clear that filter and try something completely different. Let's do vibrato. And now I have all the controls for that one. So this is pretty nice stuff and I can add some more. For example, we can get, let's get a chorus effect and here you go. And if you want to just change the order, just click, drag and drop and they will switch places. But we also have some other things that you can do. So if you go into our compressor, for example, you'll see that we have presets right here. And on the far right, we have a split between reverb and a delay, sort of a send effect. And I can add that right here. And it is based on the replica, but you can uh, change this to twin if you like. And there are some other things you can do here. For example, syncing uh, free or to your project with straight dotted and triplets.
So one of the things that I really love about these instruments is the macros, and you can see them on the bottom right here. And again, if you have a complete control keyboard, that will be mapped right here. But you can program this yourself. You can create your own set of macros. And what you do is a couple of things here. First of all, you, you can just click this right here, this arrow. If you click this, you'll see where it goes. So you can definitely change anything right on the spot. And if I want to change the tremolo intensity or whatever settings, I can see what's the source of that macro. But if you actually want to program this, you go to the right, right here, we have this pencil, I'll click this. And now when you click this little light right here, this will engage into the programming of the macro. But first, let's go back to the original place. This is the reverb. I'm going to click this light right here. And now I can change this to diffusion. So now this last macro, the right macro right here, this will be our diffusion amount. <laughs> And I'll go back to the main page. And again, that's it. So now this one is the reverb diffusion. I can turn it on. That is it. These are the electric keys by Native Instruments. Really hope you enjoy this one. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next videos. Thank you and bye-bye.